First, we have new information tonight on the shooting in rural Franklin County, Indiana, that left five people dead. Police say the suspected shooter is not among the dead and is still on the loose. Nine News reporter Sayed Shabir is live in Brookville with details on the victim. Sayed? Carol Clyde, in a press release earlier this evening, police said that the five victims involved were all shot to death, many of them shot in the head. And while initial reports said that the shooter may be among the dead, the latest statement is that the shooter is not among the dead and is still on the loose. And that's why police are once again alerting the community that if they see anything out of the ordinary, they need to call police immediately. An overwhelmed rural Franklin County community gathered at the courthouse in Brookville this evening to hear the latest information from police about the heinous crime that left five people dead. We've got five folks here that are deceased. We've got some grieving families. Uh, we want the families to know that our thoughts and prayers are with them through this terrible terrible time through this uh, tragedy that's happened. Autopsy results were released and showed preliminary causes of death. The preliminary cause of death is a gunshot wound to the head area and blunt force trauma to the head area. 50-year-old Roy Napier, his wife, 47-year-old Angela, and two of their children, 23-year-old Melissa and 18-year-old Jacob, were shot in the head. This picture of Jacob was taken several years ago. The fifth victim, believed to be a neighbor, is 43-year-old Henry Smith. He was shot in the chest and his body was found across the street. We're going to exhaust all resources we have to make sure that justice comes to these victims. Uh, we want to make sure that the uh, citizens of Franklin County know that we are doing everything we can to catch the person or persons responsible for this crime. Police were first informed of the situation when a four-year-old child was found walking alone near the home. She came over and she just clung to me because I opened the door of the Jeep and got out and she said, Somebody has to help me. They're all dead. Police aren't saying much about the young girl except that she is safe. Detectives do not know yet if there are one or more shooters, nor are they sure if the suspects are still in the area or have fled. The one thing they are for sure on is that the community needs to be on alert. Make sure uh, that you keep everything locked up. Uh, go about your regular business, but don't take any chances. Just double check everything. And if you see anything at all suspicious, where normally you might not call in, just this time we're urging you to call in. Now, police say they have been getting very good cooperation from family members and friends as well as citizens from throughout the Franklin area. They have received several tips and are following up on numerous leads. We will be following them as they continue the investigation and bring you the latest on WCPO.com and on our newscasts tomorrow. Carol Clyde. Sayed Shabir live for us in Brookville, Indiana. Thanks, Sayed.